I had planned on this acrylic pouring video to be about colander pours, but I recently discovered something about pouring that struck me as important enough to change it. It started yesterday when I made these two pours, which looked pretty good when I set them out to dry, but when I got up this morning, they had changed overnight to this, which aren't nearly as attractive. What had happened was something I've labeled post-pour flow. After tilting, the paint remaining on most pores is thin enough that it doesn't continue to flow much once it's laid out to dry, but pores where thicker layers of paint remain on the canvas may continue to flow because gravity pulls them down and out, causing them to spread. If the canvas is tilted, the pattern can also drift to one side. The solution is to use a level to set up the drying location to be as level as possible before pouring. This will at least minimize drifting. To demonstrate post-pour flow with thick paint, I used my kitchen drawer technique to create an interesting red and white on black pattern, then set it on a carefully leveled surface to dry. Evoking the magic of time-lapse photography, we can compress four hours of drift to less than a minute. As you can see, even leveled, the paint not only flows outward, but still drifts slightly to one side. This demonstrates the importance of using a level drying table for thick pours and the unfortunate fact that no matter how attractive a pour appears at first, it may not remain so during drying. I'm sorry this video isn't more upbeat, but I felt it was important to let beginners to pouring, like myself, know about this issue. Thank you for watching, and I promise the next video will be about how using different types of colanders affects the pour.